In studio with us tonight is Craig Bowers. He is with the Treasure Hunters Roadshow, also the Ohio Valley Gold and Silver Refinery. And you guys buy cool stuff that we might have sitting around our homes and not know what to do with. Tell us about the sorts of things you are looking for as you make visits around our area. Well, actually, there's a lot of things that we actually look for. Um, we have a few items that I brought in today that, you know, we'll maybe touch base on a little bit. The old steel toys, you know, um, war memorabilia with the prices of your gold and silver right now being at all-time highs. Well, for the most part, all-time highs. Those items are great items to get rid of. Sitting over here to my left is, some, is an old classic guitar. I mean, there's, a, there's just thousands of items that we actually can uh, put you in face-to-face, -face, basically, with a collector and get you an offer on your items. Okay, give us an, uh, an idea of what you'd pay for an old toy like this. So this, is a, uh, this is an old Tonka toy. Um, it's a uh, pretty decent shape, but uh, condition-wise and everything, you know, a couple hundred dollars for a toy like that. Oh, right wow. There. And, and you've got an, an old sword here? What's yeah, this? this is actually a uh, Japanese bayonet, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, you know, a little rough in condition, but still a very desirable piece. You know, you're also looking at, you know, 100 and a half or $200 for something like this here, too. And then, of course, you know, your jewelry, that's all over the board as far as, you know, the prices and things that you mm -hmm. can gather from that. And uh, um, the other piece that I brought in here was just an old silverware uh, excuse me, sterling piece that, uh, you know, which leads me to your old sterling silverware sets and things. Mm -hmm. And some of that stuff is just crazy money right now. Oh, really? Okay. Now, I have a few pieces of old gold jewelry that I don't wear that I've been tempted to sell, but mm -hmm. I find it scary to think about, okay, they're going to rip me off. How mm -hmm. do you know if you're getting a fair deal when you it's, take in old jewelry? It's actually pretty cut and dried. You know, it's based on the, on the metal the, the carrot of the gold, for example, if that's what you're talking about, mm -hmm. and uh, it's weighed out and basically presented to you. So, so should you expect a trader or purchaser to to quote you an offer before you agree to then sell it? Is that how it normally works? Yeah, yeah. We'll actually uh, examine the piece. Um, if it's a piece that's possibly resellable, um, contact a couple different collectors back in Springfield, Illinois, where we're out of, and uh, make you an offer. Okay. If you can grab that cool guitar, I will sure. go over where people can find you from November 15th to the 19th. And he will be at the Holiday Inn Express, also people at the Ramada Hotel and Conference Center in Toledo, the Holiday Inn Express in Perrysburg. And the hours are, you know, roughly business hours, 9 to 6, Monday through Thursday and Friday 9 to 4, and you also have uh, dates coming up at the Hilton Garden Inn in Perrysburg and the Comfort Inn in Oregon, and you can find the information, obviously you probably weren't jotting all that down, but at treasurehuntersroadshow.com. So tell us about this guitar. All right, this is a, uh, um, a 1961 Merlin. Um, the neat thing about this guitar is, and most people didn't realize this, but, but back in the day, the, gu the guitar was actually sold new at Lowe's Department Store. Really? Now, this guitar actually came out of Kentucky a week or so. Well, it was about a week and a half ago when we were down there. Okay. And uh, they actually sponsored the Arthur Smith Radio Hour. Oh, wow. So, so this is a particular collectible for, yeah, for certain music it is. historians. This, this guitar, as soon as we called back into our offices, we had a collector that was instantly ready to make an offer on it. So. And what's the range of old guitars if people have them to sell? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's wide, but... <laughs> yeah, you can have a, a piece like this, which is, you know, fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. Obviously, some of your base models might be a little less than that. You know, up to, uh, you know, let's say if you've got a, uh, an old gold top, which could be, you know, upwards of $100,000. So. Wow. Well, if you have that kind of gold <laughs> in your attic, you need to go see Craig Bowers and his associates with the Ohio Valley Gold and Silver Refinery or Treasure Hunters Roadshow. Dot com for more information. That is tonight's talkback.